Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. So today we are going to be doing another one of my laid back, more chatty type videos. And I'm going to be talking all about how my no buy is going. So if you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Fern. I make houseplant content. So please subscribe if you haven't yet. But I have embarked on a journey for 2022 to basically not buy any plants. I have a whole video where I discuss this and why I'm doing it. So I'll link that down below. If you haven't seen it yet, I suggest watching that first. But that's the gist of what is going on. And I just wanted to give a little update and kind of talk about just my thoughts, how I'm feeling, how it's going, whether I recommend it and who I recommend it for. So with that all said, to answer the broad question of, am I happier now not buying plants? Do I feel better? Did it solve some of the problems that I was having? My answer is in general, yes. I really do feel like this has already been beneficial for me. I feel like I have more time to focus on the plants that I already have in my collection and just give them like the care and attention that they deserve. I'm so much more focused on just growing out my plants to be large, lush, happy, healthy plants. I, I really don't even care about acquiring new plants. Like I just want to see my current collection thrive and be the best it can be. Like that's truly where I am right now in what brings me joy. Before I felt like I was caught in a little bit of a cycle where I would constantly br be bringing new plants in. Like honestly you guys in 2020 and even 2021, I would have new plants almost every single week. And then I would just fall behind on everything and my other plants would get neglected because suddenly I'd have five more plants that need to be repotted and treated and I need to find a spot for them. And it just turns into like a whole stressful cycle and I felt like I could never really catch up. So for the first time since I've had a somewhat large collection, I feel generally on top of things and that feels so good. Like I'm actually able to keep up with my watering now. I'm almost, I'm almost bordering the line of becoming an overwaterer, you guys. And I was a chronic underwater before, but now I just am able to keep up with it more. So I'm like ready. I'm like, okay, like, are you ready for water yet? Like I'm ready to water you. And I'm just like excited to be able to do that and to not be going around to do my watering and finding all of these wilted sad plants because I just wasn't able to get to them in time. Like that just feels so much better to me. So I'm definitely way less overwhelmed and stressed with my collection. Even with my whole thrip outbreak, you guys, like I can't imagine if I would have had the collection I had before, like if I had double the amount of plants, that just would have been like, I probably would have had a breakdown. <laughs> that was like the worst of the worst. And it was like somewhat manageable for me like I survived so yeah in that aspect I'm just very happy to shift my focus into caring for the plants that I do have it's also obviously better financially I wasn't spending a ton of money on plants before but I was definitely spending money on them so I am saving a little bit of money that way although I will say regarding to finances something that I have been thinking about lately as more of the houseplant community shifts to this like no buy trade only mentality I do think that it's still super important to be supportive our local plant businesses and local online plant businesses. So if I were to buy a plant and I suggest for anybody buying plants to support the plant shops in your area. Also, if you need supplies, try to find the local plant shops that you love or online plant shops that you love to support and order from them rather than going to big box stores. That is something that I recognize is really important and I don't want everybody to just like stop supporting these businesses. I just want people like the message that I want to put out is just to encourage people to be more intentional be intentional with what you're bringing into your home just honestly like in everything in life like we should as a culture become just more thoughtful about our purchases and where we purchase from etc that's like a whole other a whole other thing that we could get into but it's definitely something that I'm aware of Okay, so I also want to talk a little bit about whether I miss buying plants or do I get the urge to buy plants. And of course I get the urge to buy plants sometimes. Like we all have plants that we admire that we would love to add to our collection. So yeah, of course sometimes I feel like buying a plant. However, I will say that I recently went to a plant shop after not being in a plant shop for a very long time, but I needed some supplies and I just wanted to get out and just check out the plants and see what was out there and you guys it was so enjoyable I'm honestly I honestly think that it was 
a lot more enjoyable and relaxing than it used to be because I wasn't focused on like what I was gonna buy or like searching for what was gonna be that dopamine hit for me. I just walked around for like a good 30 to 40 minutes and looked at all the plants and admired them and checked out all the different pots and supplies that there were. And it was just like a whole relaxing experience. I can genuinely say it was just a really nice experience to just browse through all the plants and be in that environment. I also just wanted to give you guys a little list of things that you can do other than buying plants or things that I find really enjoyable that are like planty related, but without purchasing a new plant. So the first thing that I love to do is read about plants. I have a, quite a stack of houseplant books now, which I love going through even a couple that are more like gardening inspired books because that's what I am trying to learn about right now. Um, so just reading for enjoyment or to brush up on your knowledge. Also online resources. Um, I love browsing through Reddit. There's a whole bunch of different houseplant related subreddits and I just find them really enjoyable to kind of go through and also to look at pictures and stuff. And it's also nice because it's I mean, I guess Reddit is social media, but it's not like scrolling through Instagram or TikTok. It's a bit of a different experience. And a lot of times there's some really great information on there. So I really love um, finding different online resources or blog posts, even just Googling, like you can come across some really cool articles if there's something in particular that you're interested in. So I love just reading about plants. I love reading in general. So it's kind of like the perfect combination. Also, of course, plant chores. There's always no shortage of plant chores around here, but I also love experimenting with different things, like different ways to propagate. Uh, like I'm doing some air layering right now, which is something I've only done once before. So that's just kind of something uh, fun and new to try. Also trying out new products. I'm waiting for my CalMeg to come to add to my fertilizing routine and little things like that just keep me really excited. Also switching up your plant styling, so either rearranging your plants, moving your plants around, um, trying out different ways to display them, um, maybe getting some different shelves, things like that is so fun. I'm actually really wanting to do some rearranging right now, so for the spring I will probably get into that. But displaying our plants is so much of the enjoyment of this all because that is how we get to appreciate them and admire them. Something I've really been loving doing lately as well is making plant goals. So like physically writing down a list of things that I want to accomplish or do with my plants this year. So I have a whole video going over my plant goals. If you want some inspiration, I will link that as well. Also, if you do still have a planty budget, then just like reallocating those funds to different plant products. So either like you can try out different fertilizers and like actual plant care related products like that or you can invest in some nice new pots which I love beautiful plant pots. There are so many beautiful different styles of plant pots out there so incorporating those into your home is a really fun thing to do as well. I also have doing trades down which of course if you want to expand your collection then doing trades is a great way to do that. Also a great way to meet plant friends and as I was thinking about this one I was kind of thinking about like taking photos of your plants as well whether it's to do trades or just to take photos of them. I find that I appreciate my plants so much just taking photos of them and seeing how beautiful they are. Uh, it's also just really fun to document. Um, start a plant Instagram if you don't have one. That's also a really great way to meet plant friends. So who do I think that this no buy or low buy challenge would benefit definitely somebody who is feeling overwhelmed stressed or burned out with their collection which is something that i hear of all the time and i've been there it's made it feel so much better for me to stop buying or to downsize your collection i also have videos about that from when i downsized both of those things help tremendously um, so if you are feeling overwhelmed definitely think about making one of these changes also, if you struggle with mental health, I can totally, totally empathize with that because it's definitely hard for me to keep up with my collection when I'm feeling really depressed or anxious or just going through something, you know? Also for people who want to save money or are just trying to be more intentional with your spending and your budgeting, definitely a great thing for that. And also just for anyone who is trying to be more mindful about the purchases that you make and about your plant collecting in general, I find that just focusing on my current collection is really grounding. Definitely just like a great practice spiritually. I know that might sound a little dramatic for the topic, but I really do think that there is a spiritual aspect to just being content 
and appreciative um, and full of gratitude for what you currently have. Yeah, I really do think that this type of exercise can benefit a lot of people. Um, who would it not benefit? Maybe someone who's just getting into plants and you're just building up your collection and you're still really excited about it. Just don't go too fast. Like I remember going crazy when I first got into plants and it really led to a lot of this overwhelm and burnout that I'm talking about. But I totally understand uh, when you're first getting into plants and it's just so exciting and um, you want to try out different types. So I totally support. I think that that is awesome. Just make sure that you're mindful about it too. Okay, so I think that that is my general thoughts on this. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Are you in the same boat as me and trying to do a low or no buy year? Or are you not? Also, let me know if you have any questions. I would be happy to answer them. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!